Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when the game is not loading or stuck on loading, then please follow the steps shown in this video. The first step is to restart your computer. Restart your computer once and then check. If that does not work, try these in launch option. So these are provided in the video description. So make a right click on the game, go to properties in the launch option, type in the first launch option that is dash dash underscore exclusive underscore dash dash no underscore exclusive underscore full screen now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to type in this in the launch option make a right click and then it's dash dash config space very underscore low now you can close this launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to try dx11 or dx12 type in dash dx11 launch the game and then check if that does not work type in dash dx12 launch the game and then check still not working remove this follow the next step now the ne next step is to uncheck steam compatibility mode now for this type in steam in windows search box make a right click on steam open file location make a right click on steam exe file properties go to this tab if this is checked you have to uncheck this box make sure this is unchecked hit apply click on ok and then you have to relaunch steam so if the steam is open you have to close steam first exit and then relaunch steam again and then you have to check still not working the next step is to epic games launcher user update epic games launcher so if you have the game on epic games launcher go to epic games launcher and then click on your profile icon then go to settings over here and then over here you will see update option so if you see update option hit update install update everything and it will relaunch epic games launcher then check still not working run the game from the game installation folder so wherever the game is installed make a right click the game manage browse local files and then make a double click launch the game from here and then check if that does not work make a right click go to properties go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator over here and then hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game and then check still not working make a right click go to properties this time you can put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working this time when you put a check not working you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok follow the next step now the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you're using Windows security, open Windows settings, privacy and security, Windows security, and then virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Add an allowed app, browse all apps. Go to the game installation folder. Select the game exe file. Click on open. And then type in control panel in Windows search box. And then click on control panel. System and security, Windows Defender firewall. Allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Change settings. Allow another app. Click on Browse. And then select this exe file. Click on Open. Click on Add. In my case, it is already added. Again, allow another app. Browse. Select this Unity Crash Handler 2. And then Add. Once it is added, now you can launch the game and then check. If you have any third-party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program next step is to clear steam download cache now for this you can go to steam steam settings downloads click on clear cache click on confirm and then relaunch it will relaunch steam login and then check still not working next step is to perform clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card your operating system and then click on start search and whichever is the latest GeForce game read driver, you can click on get download and then download now and then run this exe file. Let the download complete, then run this exe file and then click on yes to allow, click on ok, click on agree and continue. Select custom option, click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation, then click on next. After the clean installation, restart your computer and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to now AMD card users go to AMD website select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card i don't have amd graphic card this is just an example select your graphic submit and select your operating system whichever is the latest graphic card driver click on download 
in download it, install it, restart the computer and then check. Still not working. The next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphic settings in Windows search box, click on graphic settings over here. Click on add desktop app, go to the game installation folder, select the game exe file, click on add, scroll down, find the game in the list. Now, once you find the game, click on the FM game over here, select high performance, you will see your graphic card over here. Now launch the game and then check. Now desktop users connect SDMI or display cable to the dedicated graphic card slot, not the motherboard slot. Try power saver mode. Now for this type in control panel in Windows search box, click on control panel. Go to hardware and sound, go to power options. Now in my case, I have only balanced, but if you see power saver, you can select power saver and then relaunch the game and then check. You can even try balanced or high performance, but if you see power saver, try power saver first. Next step is to disable or enable hardware accelerated GP scheduling. Now for this type in graphic settings in Windows search box, click on graphic settings. Here you can see advanced graphic settings, click on it. Hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. If this is off, turn it on, relaunch the game and then check. If this is already on, turn it off, relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. Disable or enable, uh, we have already done. Now disable the integrated graphic card. Now if your computer has a dual graphic card, make a right click in the start menu, go to device manager and then expand display adapter if your computer has a dual graphic card in my case it's intel is the integrated make a right click and disable device and then relaunch the game and then check once you are done playing the game make a right click and enable the device once again next step is to verify the game files now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files once the verification is done launch the game Still not working. The next step is to install Visual C++ file. For this, you can go to Microsoft website. Go to the official Microsoft website. On this website here, you can see Visual Studio files. Here you can see x86 and x64. You have to download both the files, so click on it. Run this exe file. If you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. Download this x64 file as well. Run this exe file. Click on repair. If you see repair, if you see the install button, hit install and let the installation complete. Make sure both are installed. Once installed, restart your computer. After the system restart, you can check. Still not working. The next step is to update Windows. Now for this, open Windows settings. Go to Windows Update or Update and Security. Click on Check for Update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can launch the game. Next step is to disconnect multiple monitor. Try launching the game on single monitor. Disconnect extra controller connected to the computer. Unplug hotas, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnected. If you have external keyboard or mouse, like if you have key crown keyboard or mouse, which you're not using, disconnected. Disable Steam overlay. Now for this, go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties. Turn off the option, basis, enable the Steam overlay while in game and then check. If you have any other overlay application like Discord running, go to Discord settings, turn off overlay. If you have Nvidia app running, you can go to Nvidia app settings over here and turn off this NVIDIA overlay, turn it off and then close NVIDIA app. Close all overlay application. If Now do not overclock. If you have overclocked your computer, set it to default and close all the overclocking application like if you have MSI, Afterburner, Reward Tuner running, close it. Close all third party application and services from your computer. And remove the undervolt if you have undervolted the computer. Perform clean boot. Now for this type in system configuration in Windows search box, click on system configuration. Go to the services tab. Put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services. Make sure that you put a check over here first and then click on disable all. Hit apply. Click on OK. You will see a restart option. Restart the computer and then launch the game. Next step is to increase the virtual memory. To increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings over here. And then under advanced, click on settings, the first setting, and then click on advanced tab, and then click on change over here. You have to uncheck the box, and then you have to select the drive where the game is installed. Make sure that you select the drive where the game is installed, and then select custom size. And we, for initial size is 1.5 multiplied total RAM, for maximum is 3 multiplied total RAM. So you can check total RAM in Windows settings, go to system, and then go to about option. And over here you can see in my case it's 16 gigabytes, so you have to calculate as per your RAM. And 
if you face any problem we can always revert back the settings so do not worry about it so for in my case it's 16 gigabyte multiplied 1024 that is total total ram in megabyte for initial size it's 1.5 multiplied 1.5 that is 24576 for maximum size it's total ram that is 16 multiplied 1024 in my case 16384 me megabyte then 3 times multiplied 3 that is for maximum size it's 49152 in my case and then you have to click on set set is important make sure that it hits set and then click on okay and then okay okay now relaunch the game and then check if that does not work then type in we advanced system settings again and then click on we advanced system settings go to settings over here click on change uh, advanced tab and then click on change and then select system manage size this time and then click on set set is important click on okay click on okay over here hit apply click on okay okay you will see restart option restart you can be and then check still not working we will revert to default so you can type in view advanced system settings once again settings advance change and put a check on this box and then hit apply click on okay follow the next step are uh, still not working the next step is to update the bios so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number go to drivers page and then find the bios and then install the bios in case of laptop make sure battery is more than 10% and the ac adapter the charger is connected to the computer when you update the system bios next step is to the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives so make a right click on the game manage uninstall after the uninstall reinstall the game to c drive so if the game is installed to d drive or e drive or any external drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive try installing the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on a windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel